Will Thor the King of Thunder have what it takes to vanquish his dark shadow in Donald Blake the Dragon? Well, let's hop into the pages of Thor issue number 14, the grand finale of this Prey storyline, and find out together, shall we? So then, picking up from where the last issue had left off, the last remains of the heroes of Asgard had all united to try and do battle with Donald Blake before he could chop down the world tree. Thor, against all odds, was actually able to circumvent ancient laws that disallowed him and Donald Blake from sharing the same plane of existence by him swapping his own soul into the unused body of the Destroyer armor. And it's from there Thor is finally free to deliver days worth of ass whoopings upon Donald Blake who's been getting off way too easy the last little bit with the King of Thunder trapped in a hellish alternate dimension. And while Thor may be beating up his former alter ego, he's not without his own sympathies. He knows full well why Donald Blake is doing what he's doing right now. And it would take a truly cold-hearted individual to say that Blake has not suffered and that that does not ultimately end up explaining his actions. The battle takes a turn for the worst when Blake remembers, oh yeah, the Destroyer armor is also made from Odin's magic, and I have the power to drain that magic away. Luckily, Thor doesn't fight alone, and there's a lot of other heroes in the Marvel Universe right now who want a piece of Blake. Doctor Strange is able to incapacitate Blake by using the Crimson Bands of Cyderax. See, it's not just a cool word, they can also do fun stuff like this, too. It's here, too, that drunk, sad, midlife crisis Odin figures that it's about time he finish Blake off, after all. Well, he's the one who brought him into this world, and as such, he's the one who can bring him out as well. What's really heart-wrenching about this little scene is how Donald Blake actually ends up becoming resigned to his fate. He says that Odin should finish it and make him what he always was to him, nothing. He even then twists the metaphorical dagger in a little more by calling him father. That last little bit also ends up striking a major chord with Loki, who, much like his brother Thor, is not unsympathetic to Donald Blake's plight. After all, Loki knows full well what it's like to be dropped into the middle of this dysfunctional Viking family. And as such, he takes it upon himself to reconstruct Donald Blake's walking stick, in doing so allowing Thor free passage back to this realm. Thor actively goes out of his way to stop his father Odin from executing Donald Blake, saying that, hey, that may be how you would have handled this situation back when you were king, but I'm king now and I say no more killing. Love it or hate it, Blake is my brother, he is my other half, and I understand him. That's not to say he's not going to get out of this situation unpunished, Thor calls down probably the biggest lightning bolt we've ever seen, before eventually tossing him over to Loki for safekeeping. Loki says that he used to be the Lord of Lies, and in this situation, when Thor asks where Blake went, he's probably gonna have to give him yet another lie. Blake's ultimate fate, for those of you who may be wondering, may actually end up being worse than his fate in the other realm. He actually ends up suffering the very same torture as the real Loki from Norse mythology, being strapped to a table he cannot leave as a snake drips poison into his eyes over and over. Before Loki leaves too, he says that perhaps Donald Blake has actually done more to earn the title Lord of Lies than he has in a while. After all, he is the man who never was, and who may never be again. And so that was Thor issue number 14, everybody, and overall I thought this was a really strong conclusion to the strongest Donny Cates Thor story to date. One that made excellent use of continuity, both very old continuity and very new continuity, most of which just happened to be written by Cates himself to tell a very strong story about Thor coming to terms with his new position as king. After all, when this story began, all he wanted was a respite. He wanted to get out of his responsibilities, but now he realizes full well that as king, when you abdicate the throne, when you leave your responsibilities, people suffer. Donald Blake may also very well have taken his position as the brand new top dog villain in all of Thor. Thor's comics, and you know he's not going anywhere anytime soon, so I can't wait to see what the future holds for him. Overall, I'd feel comfortable giving this one a very positive 9 out of 10. This was some damn good stuff right here, and I cannot wait to see what happens next. Hey there everyone, it's your old pal Cape Jewel again, thanking you so much for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, why not check out my Amazon link down in the description. Yes, that's right, the Cape Jewel channel officially has its own Amazon storefront now. You can pick up a comic or anything else for that matter, and if you did, you'd really be helping me in the channel. So with that out of the way everyone, I will see you again next time. Bye bye